I'm Alan Cylinder. And I'm his daughter, Chelsea Cylinder. We're Cylinder Cylinder, coming to you through social distancing. And today we're here to talk about a new movie called Capone. This was written and directed by Josh Trank, and it stars Tom Hardy, Linda Cardellini, and Matt Dillon. It's a film about Al Capone, but it has a very misleading title because it's only about the last year of his life. And with a title like Capone, you would think it's probably a sweeping overview of his life, which it is not. Yeah, and if you don't know about the last year of Al Capone's life, it's not very happy. Al Capone was suffering from neurosyphilis, and it's not pleasant to watch at all. It's just, it's just not very good. Despite the fact that the Al Capone character is almost in a vegetative state, the actor, Tom Hardy, who plays him, is still able to chew the scenery quite a bit. In fact, he never stops chewing. Yeah, and throughout the entire movie, I was thinking about, because you know there are a lot of people who have both played Al Capone and who have played gangsters like Al Capone in the past, and I was just thinking about all of these actors that have given great performances. And this isn't one of them. But also, in fairness to Tom Hardy, the part is not written very well at all. But I did think Linda Cardellini was good. Linda Cardellini plays Al Capone's wife, and I like her. Linda Cardellini is always good. No matter what she does, she's good. She is good in this. She's probably the only person that I thought was good in this movie. Yeah, I agree with that. Writer-director Josh Trank, who was attempting to make a comeback with this movie after he was being blamed for the failure of a big comic book movie, the last Fantastic Four movie, which he wasn't necessarily to blame for, but he certainly took the brunt of the punishment. Certainly doesn't redeem himself with this movie. This seemed like an odd choice for a movie to try to make a comeback with, because this is really not a good movie. This movie is currently available on video on demand, should you wish to waste your time. This one ain't too good. I would give this movie one cylinder. I would give this movie one and a half cylinders. Capone. This is Alan Cylinder. And Chelsea Cylinder. Saying, see you at the movies. Once again, sometime soon, we hope. We keep hoping. Bye.